Me no care. Me no care. Me no. Me no. Me no care. Me no care if the gal over there. Evolving is something that's just everlasting. I don't like when people say like, you know, don't ever get comfortable. Like I feel like you definitely deserve comfort along the way, but just know that. You're more than where you are now. You're more than what you think of yourself now. And I'm living proof of that. Hi, I'm Jungle Pussy. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And I'm an artist. I went thrifting, I think, and I found this sweater. It had like these leopard patches on it and some rhinestones. And I was like, this is Jungle Pussy. And that was it. It's like a two second video. And then from then, I just I just kept the name. When Twitter came out, I wanted a name nobody would steal. Cause I'm like, don't nobody wanna take Jungle Pussy. <laughs> in high school, I was in a rap group. We would cut class and like freestyle in the chemistry lab. I used to have a red mohawk, then it was blue. Then my hair fell out. <laughs> Then I was wearing weaves and stuff. I just always had like my personality, I guess, was always just like funny, goofy, sexy. Always was sexy, right? No. <laughs> my friend who did like cream team stitches, we went to high school together and she used to always bring a camera to school, always record us rapping, freestyling. But she would like put together a recap video. If our friend was going on a long vacation, I'll make like a farewell song. Like it was always just like personal for the friends. And the internet started doing what the internet did and people wanted more from me. And I was like, and I was like, all right, so I'll make one song. I made Cream Team, put it out, did a video. People loved it. I'm like, okay, I'll do another song. Then Erica Badu found me. She tweeted Cream Team and Stitches. She was like, really like, oh my gosh, who's this girl? And I'm like, I literally only did two songs. Like, what do you mean who? And then I was like, I gotta commit. And then the rest is history. <laughs> Tripping off the love and faded off the fucking stumbling and I I really appreciate the fan base I've attracted. I feel like I've just attracted them. Like, I didn't know who would like me. Like, when I put on my first song, I used to be like, the black girl's not gonna like me. Like, uh, I don't know why I thought that, but I really did think that. And like, no, they relate. So many other people relate. Like, People I would have never even thought would relate to me relate. And even if they don't like really get it, they just like respect it. Oh my gosh, that's what really busts my head open when I just started to travel and tour and like meet people and just like see all these popping ass people who like, I love your stuff. I'm like, my stuff, I like you. I just want it, I I just want it. I just want the head. I just want it, I I I just want it. I just want the head. Wanna fuck me so bad, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't know what I was doing. Like I just wanted to make stuff. I didn't even know I could make money off of it. Like I didn't care for none of that. All my life I just always made stuff. So now I had to go on this personal journey. It was like beyond like what I think people want from me beyond like just having access to these people. I really want to make sure that I was sharing who I really am. Thank you.